Hello friends, this is Abhinav Bhargav and in this video we are going to see about UPI that is Unified Payment Interface. So in the second week of April 2016, RBI Governor launched the UPI which was developed by NPCI. So UPI is a payment system that allows money transfer between any two bank accounts by using a smartphone. Just like the existing NAFT, RTGS or IMPS etc. but it is far more sophisticated and standardized across the banks. And using UPI services, one just requires a smartphone and a banking app to send and receive money instantly or to pay a merchant for retail purchase. And in the long run, UPI is likely to replace the current NEFT, RTGS, IMPS systems as they exist today. And with UPI, only the mobile phone number of the recipient is needed and one can send the money instantly in a secure environment just using the smartphone. So you must be thinking that we already have NAFT, RTGS, IMPS etc. Then why UPI now? See UPI allow us to pay directly from bank account to different merchants without putting in details of the card details, net banking, IFSC code or even a wallet password etc. And since it is standardized across the banks, the transaction is hazel free and the transactions can be done using UPI include merchant payments, remittances, bill payments and so on. So how can one use UPI? A user with Android phone can download UPI app of Indian banks from Google Play Store. And once downloaded and installed, the user has to set an app login, create virtual address, add bank account details and set an M pin and start using it. And currently the per transaction limit is 1 lakh. So is UPI safe? Yes, UPI is safe because customers share a virtual address and no other sensitive information is provided. So what is this virtual address? See, virtual address seems to be the most innovative idea of the UPI. Up till now, we used to make payments using debit card details such as number, expiry date, CVV code, etc. And typing these on mobile is a problem and to solve this problem, UPI brings the idea of virtual address and which looks something like this. So there is no need of any other details. So what are the advantages of UPI? See, the transactions are carried out in a highly secured environment which nullifies any kind of risk and the transaction cost is low as compared to other international players and NPCI will earn 50 paise per transaction. Here multiple bank accounts can be linked to a single cell phone and it will work on a real time basis and would be available 24 by 7 unlike NAFT. And banks can create their own interface which is flexible in nature and it will move India towards the cashless society. And also we should know about NPCI. So NPCI is the umbrella organization for all retail payment systems in India which aims to allow all Indian citizens to have unrestricted access to e-payment services. And it was founded in the year 2008 and it is a not-for-profit organization registered under Section 25 of the Companies Act 1956. And the organization has been promoted by the country's central bank, that is the Reserve Bank of India. And its recent work of developing UPI aims to move India to a cashless society with only digital transactions. So UPI is a great step in right direction and it is said to become an efficient alternative to the mobile wallets and make cashless payments faster, easier and smoother for millions of the people in India. So this is the basic information about UPI. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.